welcome to Trojan War. It, from what I've read, it's almost like it's a a clone of Stick War Legacy, but set kind of in the ancient mythos of the Trojan War. Now, for some reason, Sparta seems to play center. So the bowman claims to have bow so accurately piercing they will fall before they get a chance to stand. What does that mean? The bowman claim to have? What? I'm not entirely sure what just happened. So we need to trade a hunter. This is like the tutorial level here. Now I can control him if I want to, which I don't really want to at the moment. Now they want me to train two swordsmen, but it's kind of funny. Our base isn't like a Stomp. tent or a statue it is literally the trojan horse and i'm not entirely sure if like we're supposed to be <laughs> attacking the enemy base with this or what but we're gonna have to build up an army got it okay i get it the tutorial level is very kind of limiting like they force you to do things which i'm not entirely sure i'm a big fan of that the the beautiful thing about stick war legacy was that you kind of had more freedom to kind of learn at your own pace and in your own way so i think what we're gonna do is get a few people to go out here to the dead animals and grab the steaks that's that's our food supply right now <laughs> it's pretty funny and the enemy has a number of archers and we have to attack them with melee soldiers so we're gonna need a lot of them because a lot of us are gonna just get hit with arrows and die well before we make it to the enemy formation now what is this the specials so if i hover over it what did that do a, a boost to okay so that boosted my resource generation i guess resource production rate so i can actually build a quite a big army right now now the one cool thing i saw from the screenshots on you know the app store was that you're gonna be able to build a big big army i think it's just that the art looks a little bit different than Stick War Legacy, right? But like one, two, three, four, five, that seems to be, Stick War Legacy I think has four to five abroad, you know, like the width of your battlefield formation anyway. But so my thought is like, let's just make 50 of these guys and charge them. I mean, the enemy only has four archers, but I would really love to see a full proper phalanx of our rather interesting looking swordsman here. Oh, so I can do two times speed, but the way the game monetized is I can get to stage 20 to get it for free or I can unlock now for five bucks. I'll probably wait just to do it for free, but at least it's not something that like, oh, you can only get this if you pay. You can't knock a studio for wanting to get paid for their work. Like if it, if this was only available by purchase, I'd be a little put off, but I think that's not too terrible. I have read some of the reviews and a lot of people don't seem to be a big fan of the monetization of the game, but we're just starting in and in the early stages that I haven't seen anything too off-putting. But so as you're watching this, I want you to give me two things. One is feedback on this game, but two is like taking this game and Stick War Legacy, what would you want to add to make them like the best versions that they could be? Because I find this style of a game very, very compelling. Oh man, look at that. that is, that's quite a big army right there so i think i only need to produce two more and i'll have a full formation here i do have a lot of miners out there so it's time to attack achievement unlocked max population and so what we're gonna do is we are going to attack so you have attack defend and oh there's pause i wish you could have a pause function where you didn't have to load up the menu but i guess at, uh, at the same time i understand why it's there so what's the range of these archers it was not very good and in fact they fired a salvo and immediately retreated and their base is actually a siege tower. Interestingly enough, I'm not entirely sure why. Now, after the battle's over, we get some gold currency and some experience, and we can double our gold currency if we wanted to watch an advertisement. I don't really want to watch an advertisement. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 But an advertisement comes nonetheless. And look at that. Okay, so by beating that mission, we've unlocked the Bowman unit and it looks like he's got a Corinthian style helmet. It looks like it's brass or copper. Talent, switch to the talent tab. Oh, I can upgrade their skills this way. Okay, now what's the skills tab? Double strafe and a shower of arrows. And then there's these artifacts, which is like, what do you want them to look like cosmetic? So it's like, do you want, these kinds look Roman and Venus is one of the Roman gods. So we can make them look like Vikings. Oh man, there's, there's all sorts of them. Now this one probably looks the coolest in terms of their helmets. That is an awesome looking helmet. Now I'm not entirely sure. Demeter's the goddess of the harvest. Artifact reduces 10% of the cost and 10% of the timing of training. Okay, so I kind of like that. 
as a mechanic, that's pretty decent. So let's go ahead and fight the second map here. And you can see in the overworld map, uh, the bits of grease. And then over here, this map is definitely not to scale. <laughs> oh, ambush. Where have I seen this before? Stick War Legacy wasn't one of the missions called ambush. Tap the magic book. Okay, so if this is ambush, yeah, this is what happens. They're going to start massing up men. I've seen this before. This is like, it's a different artistic style, but it seems to be a Stick War Legacy clone. So what I'm going to do is get as many miners as possible. I call them miners just out of habit. All we're really doing is eating dead deer. <laughs> I'm not sure why that's the resources on the game. They are. It is what it is. We're moving forward with it. And the enemy is massing up. Oh, oh, hold on. We might die. I'm going to go ahead and get two guys and I'm going to send them out immediately just to buy me a little bit of time. Oh no, it looks like an ambush. Tap here to get in Trojan horse and call on the guardian to protect you. Whoa, what's the guardian? Oh, the guardian is the archer up there, I guess. That's kind of cool that you like start in this Trojan horse, I guess. Now we'll go back to defense just so my guys can get out there and start getting that money monies back. I will build an archer though, because with three swordsmen and one archer, we should be able to better defend ourselves the next time they do attack. Wait, they're moving. Yeah, I can hear them. That obnoxious sound effect of them trotting down the battlefield. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get more archers. All right, archer, archers, fire! <laughs> The attack animations are relatively basic, but I'm a fan of the game so far. I mean, it was free to download, right? And that's the beauty of mobile games is so many of them are free. Okay, I'm getting attacked again, this time by four swordsmen. So we need to replenish our swordsmen units that die in battle so our archers get all the kills and the glory. Wow, they, they are really just going for it, aren't they? So this is just kind of like a survival map, which makes sense. It's called ambush after all. So it is a little bit different. They attack in waves as opposed to the Stick War Legacy map whereby, you know, they would mass up a full force and then attack you. So that's, that's kind of cool. So I'm gonna get more archers because they seem to be like pretty good ones to use. And we've achieved a glorious victory. But see, this is the thing, right? I don't want to watch the advertisement to get two times corn. I just want to continue but it makes me. No. So uh, that's that's my one issue at the moment. Ah, and look at this. So you get reward for playing more, you know, that's that's pretty classic for mobile games and even a lot of the free to play PC and console games these days. Nothing new there. So there's artifacts. I don't have any a hunter. I don't have any of these when it's stage 9 to unlock. Whoa, did you see that? The Trojan horse has talents. Now, do we want to upgrade our soldiers? I don't think so. Not at this time. Let's go ahead and fight the next one. Oh, so we have story mode, the Olympus challenge in endless mode. Let's continue on with the story, though. Moving on to stage three. So let's see. Get two miners out quick and then we'll get two guards. So the enemy now has a tower and they have some hunters. We won't call them miners, although if I do happen to use the word miner, you know that I'm talking about the hunter units that are the resource gatherers out here. And at currently, let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and send my two swordsmen to fight their one swordsman out on the battlefield. I'll get one archer and then I'm gonna go back to getting some more resources. We'll call our men back. I just wanna stop their men from attacking. So it's like they sent out an early scout like, hey, are you here? Are, are you actually playing? And we'll get two more hunters because guess what? The more resources we have, the more units we can make, and the more units we can make, the better we'll be able to protect ourselves and kill them. So a full economy build. So here's the thing, how many guys I have to manually count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I think eight, two per resource node seems to be the maximum, maybe. All right, I'm getting those obnoxious sound effects for the men charging. So let's see, they've got how many? My men auto go on the defense and the miners are getting attacked. I lost one. Oh, the game just froze. Hello? Game? Uh, I believe my game crashed. That's unfortunate. 